Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So recently my husband and I went to Animal Kingdom for the first time so I wanted to share a little bit about that trip as well as the goodies that we got on that trip. So if you guys are interested then just keep on watching. But before we begin let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free so please click that subscribe button and also go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week and during the fall time and Christmas time, which are my favorite times of year, I have an abundance of videos and I typically will upload multiple times a week. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. I'm super excited about the haul portion, so make sure you stay tuned. I have my Mickey Mouse jersey on and everything. I am ready to go. Alrighty, let's just jump right into it. So this was my first time ever going to Animal Kingdom. My husband and I decided to go for July 4th weekend, which I know <laughs> it has been a while, but now is the time I finally got to sit down and share with you guys. But uh, it was very hot, very, very hot and humid. And um, I mean, it's Florida, so you know, what, what can you do? But it was absolutely beautiful. They didn't have fireworks because we were in Animal Kingdom. But um, that's okay, I don't like fireworks anyways, so it worked out perfectly for me. <laughs> um, we went on literally everything, every single ride, even the safari, and I think it was like a bug's life, or it's a, it's tough to be a bug, something like that. Every, literally, like we were there when they opened, all the way until they closed and they actually closed early because it was a Sunday and I think also because it was July 4th but we got everything done <laughs> and it was so much fun we had so much great food my favorite ride hands down is definitely the Avatar Flight of Passage I totally understand the hype about that I actually liked it so much that we started off with Flight of Passage like the first thing in the morning and then before we left right before we left actually right before they closed we went on it one more time so it was amazing and I absolutely loved it I love rides like that that is like the magic of Disney that I absolutely love and if you haven't been please please don't miss the one ride you should not miss out on is Flight of Passage. The ride is only like three minutes long, which is crazy, especially for the wait time, like waiting in line for so long. But don't forget, they do have like an app or something that you can check the wait times. We tried that, but we were just like, you know what, let's just go first thing in the morning. And yeah, yeah I'm glad we, we did because I got to go on it twice. So um, that was my absolute favorite. We actually had it planned out. I had it all written out in my phone. Like, okay, first we gotta do this, second we gotta do this. This is the food at each place that we need to try. <laughs> and yeah, we did literally everything. The next best thing was definitely the, uh, wait, let me just pull it up. All right, I have it on my list. Everything was color coded. I mean, I was just like planning everything to a T, which I mean, you have to also go with the flow because you never know what's gonna happen, but Anyways, um, so yeah, we went on Avatar Flight of Passage, the Navi River Journey, which was actually really cool. Um, walked down the Valley of Moara. I don't know. Um, we had the Pongu Pongu, which, which is like a pineapple lumpia or something. Very, very tasty. And we also had the Night Blossom drink, which was so beautiful. And it had these little, it kind of looks like little boba tea bubbles but it was actually filled with juice and it kind of just bursted in your mouth so good uh, and that was in the Pandora area and we also went to Africa of course went on the Kilimanjaro safari and um, we did let's see Asia oh the expedition Everest you have to do that super awesome ride very nice um, even like the line that you have to wait it's it's very interesting how they do it because you don't notice how long you're waiting because the whole time it kind of makes you go through like a old cabin that looks like Nepal and like it's very 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 smart on their part <laughs> and it looks very cool too so um, you can get all of the pictures uh, we tried Mr. Kamal's seasoned fries which were actually really good and my husband got the Yak and Yeti um, chicken fried rice, which he liked, 
and we saw the tree of life which was super cool in person we also had the flame tree barbecue baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork so good so so good and i also had a drink with that and i cannot remember it was like something apple something or other but i got one of those glow cubes i literally got it just for the glow cube <laughs> but it was so cool i love it um, I, I have it here to share with you guys in a moment, but um, that drink was really, really tasty. And let's see, we also went to Dino Land and did the dinosaur thing. So like I said, we did everything. Um, the only thing that I was not really, like I didn't care if we missed out on was the it's tough to be a bug, bug's life thing in the Discovery Island. But that was one of my absolute favorites. It's like one of those interactive um, shows that they had. It's super cool. Trust me, you do not want to miss that. I actually really, really enjoyed that one. That was definitely like top three for sure. But yes, I loved it, of course. Um, the only sad thing was I didn't actually get to do like the Mickey meet and greet because of the whole pandemic. They're, they weren't doing it. But I did see Mickey go by on the river with his friends in like a boat kind of thing like a little kayak thing and he waved at me so that's all I need you know that's all I need that that made me happy at least I got to see him at least once such a special time very very hot I think that was the best July 4th for me because um there's no better way for me to spend July 4th than in Disney World you know so okay let's move on to the goodies that I got all right this first item is it's technically for my husband. It, well, he said that we could share it. So, to me, to my ears, that means I can have it. But we still got it in his size. But, you know, it's fine. We, we got a t-shirt. As you can see, it says established in 1928. Um, let's see, Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney, world famous. I really like the color, of course, and my husband liked it too. And so, yeah, I can just wear it a little bit oversized. It's fine with me. Very soft material, very nice. That is the first item. This next item is, of course, the glow cube, which is so awesome. It looks like a regular ice cube and they had it in the drink and it was glowing green. There's like a little button down here that you can press and, oh my gosh. I have nails and I can never press anything when I have nails. There you go. And you can keep clicking the button until it changes whichever color that you want. And oh man, it looks so cool inside the drink as well. It was kind of like, I don't know what they put in it. It was rimmed with like crystallized sugar and it had like a little gummy worm coming out of it. If I figure out the name, I will let you guys know, but it was so good. <laughs> and um, yeah, this just added to the magic of it. So love this and apparently you can get these on Amazon so I may just get me a few of these and use them in my everyday life because you know why not bring a little bit of magic to your everyday life. Alright next we have Chip. This little guy. How cute is he? He's like blowing bubbles and the spoon looks like little bubbles. He has like bubbles here and bubbles there. Super cute. I have been wanting a chip mug forever and I keep seeing like the ordinary like Chip mug. This is the first time I've seen him like blowing bubbles like this, which I mean the cheeks are a little bit extreme <laughs> but um, I thought it looked more unique than the ones that I have seen everywhere So I finally got it and it came with a spoon. So that just made it extra special um, I will definitely be using this for some hot cocoa for sure so yeah, very, very cute. And let's see, um, this retailed for $22.99. Let me see what the t-shirt said. I don't know if, this actually doesn't have, oh, the t-shirt doesn't have a price. Uh, I forgot, I think it was around 30 bucks or something. Um, I already washed it, that's why the tag and everything is off. But yes, the mug was $22.99. Next. We have some jewelry. This was $39.99 and I mean, look at the packaging first of all, so cute. Even last time I went to Disneyland, I got some jewelry. This one right here and a few other items, but 
Um, that video is up on my channel somewhere. <laughs> but yes, it has the same packaging from like five years ago. <laughs> but very, very cute. I like the little bow. And this is what is inside. Let me give you a little close up. How cute is that? I love the idea of having matching earrings to a matching necklace. Very, very chic and pretty and simple and I love it. I have yet to wear it because I've literally been waiting to haul this for you guys so I can take it out of the packaging. But oh, it's so gorgeous. I love the little Mickey ears, of course. I love it. I absolutely love it. I couldn't go to Disney World and not get myself a little Mickey. And of course, he's in his little safari outfit. So this was to remind me of my first trip ever to Animal Kingdom, you know, because he's dressed like a little safari person. Ex Explorer. There you go. He is so cute. Look at his little outfit. Oh my gosh. The details on him, his little shoelaces. Oh, he's so cute. This retailed for $22.99 and I wasn't going to get him because my stuffed animal collection is quite ridiculous at this point. There is an entire room dedicated to them. Yeah. But my husband was like, you'll regret it if you don't get it. That rhymed. <laughs> but um, that should be like my t-shirt. You know, you'll regret it if you don't get it. But um, yeah, absolutely loved him. And I don't regret getting him because he is too adorable and every time I see him I will be reminded of my first trip to Animal Kingdom. Alrighty, last but certainly not least we have Mickey ears. I of course had to get some Mickey ears and I could not decide because they had so many beautiful ears and my husband helped me pick these out. So gorgeous. I love it. It has silver, it has gold, so it could go pretty much with any outfit that I choose to wear it with and I love this I mean look I'm sorry what it's gorgeous I should have worn this throughout the whole video dang it but how pretty is that oh my I love it I love it I love this little castle detail right in the center so pretty I'm obsessed obsessed Alrighty guys, so that was it for my first trip to Animal Kingdom and my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!